Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a mini tutorial about trimming. I used to hate trimming. It has the potential to ruin a perfectly good pot. After trimming literally thousands of pots, it's now one of my favorite parts of the whole process. I find it super meditative and calming. It's also where I see the final profile of the pot emerge, which I find really satisfying. How did I get to that stage, I hear you ask? You guessed it, practice. I practiced avidly, on just one form mainly. For me, that was my travel mugs. But for you, it can be a form you just really like to make. My tip is make hundreds of them. And by the time you've done that, your trimming skills will be so much improved, you can transfer that to other forms and you'll actually enjoy it. I use really simple trimming tools, just an angled loop tool and a metal rib. Although I have one, I don't tend to use a Giffen grip for small forms like mugs and bowls. I'll simply wet the rim with a little water, making sure the wheel is dry and clean. I'll make sure the mug is centered by lining it up with my finger as the wheel slowly turns. This is a key step and worth taking extra time over. If it's not centered, I'll go back and adjust it until it is. I'll then tap the top of the mug gently but firmly. This creates an airlock which temporarily holds the mug on the wheel. I'll then start trimming the base. I only want to make the base level and smooth. I don't want to add a foot here. I show you how to do that in another video I have available in Pottery Club. The wheel is spinning at about half to two thirds speed. I will hold my left middle finger lightly on the top of the base at the opposite side or pole if you like of where I'm holding the trimming tool. I hold the tool in my right hand under my palm. I hold it close to the end with my index finger on top. This gives maximum stability. I'll pass the loop tool across three or four times until I have the flat base I want. I'll then move over to the side. I'll trim off any excess clay on the shoulder to create the smooth profile I'm looking for. I will normally add a bevel where the shoulder and the base meet. This gives a feeling of lightness to the pot. I'll use my metal kidney to burnish the area I've trimmed. This gives the piece a super smooth professional finish. If you'd like personal help from me with your own pottery whenever you need it, plus loads of tutorials, projects, tips and tricks, join me at my online pottery studio called Pottery Club. The link is below the video. I'll stop the wheel, hold the pot firmly with both hands and I'll start the wheel slowly. This will break the airlock and I'm done. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to check out Pottery Club. The link is below this video.